परिवहन आय नीलिमा साल्वी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर स्मृति कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन इन द इन यूनिट नंबर फर्स्ट प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज येट वी आर डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज नाउ इन प्रिंसिपल पैरामीटर्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्री फॉर्मुलेशन फर्स्ट वॉज योर बल्क कैरेक्टराइजेशन एंड सेकेंड मेन पॉइंट वॉज द सोल्यूशन और डिजोल्यूशन फिनोमिना और सोलिबिलिटी एनालिसिस पैरामीटर्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज नॉट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद थर्ड मेन टॉपिक इन प्री फॉर्मुलेशन स्टडीज इज दैट स्टेबिलिटी एनालिसिस सो इन दिस केस वी विल कंसिडर द स्टेबिलिटी इन बोथ इन सॉलिड स्टेट एंड इन लिक्विड स्टेट सो stability analysis we can say stability is the capability of particular formulation in specific container to remain within its physical chemical microbiological therapeutic tox and toxicological specification it means the parameters which are we study in this case is physical chemical microbiological therapeutic and toxicological evaluation on this basis we perform stability analysis of any doses form or raw materials in pre formulation studies after this we can say the stability analysis is mainly divided into three classes first is stability in toxicological formulation second is solution stability in which we will study about the ph dependent ph uh, ph stability profile of drugs after that third main point which we will discuss in detail is solid state stability in this we will deal with the bulk stability and the compatibility compatibility parameters of the raw materials and drugs so this was the classification based on to its stability analysis now in introductory part of stability analysis is that the product or the final product should retain within specified limit specified limit it means we, uh, the parameters which we determine before the formulation suppose if we have a example of tablet and we predict the hardness friability weight variation assay disintegration and dissolution parameter if the tablet is coated or uncoated type of tablet then the dissolution profile would be different in both the cases in uncoated it would be up to 15 minute and in coated tablet this could be up to 1 to 2 hours in case then in this now the parameters which are hardness friability weight variation assay disintegration and dissolution now we pre determine this parameters that the result or the result would be this disintegration would be in this much time and dissolution would be in 30 minutes or 40 minutes weight variation is that or the label claim of the tablet is 500 mg so through assay we can assay the label claim of the tablet so this was a data which is pre determined so the product should be within the limits it means wo limit mein hona chahiye agar hum limit set karte hain ki aapka content jo hai wo if we suppose if we are saying that 500 mg tablet so the range is for 5 is plus minus 10% so it means from 490 to 510 mg so label claim must be or it must not less than 490 mg and it should not be more than 510 mg so in between this the labeled claim value could be uh, there so through its period of storage and uses can be determined so up to what time 
the product will retain its specified properties so it would be its storage and use if suppose if i am saying that the syrup or any product or any rolls form is having shelf life of 1 year or 2 years it means the results which were at the time of manufacturing मैन्युफैक्चरिंग के टाइम पे जो हमें इवेल्यूशन पैरामीटर्स के रिजल्ट हमें मिलते हैं वही रिजल्ट उसके अप टू टू ईयर और थ्री इयर्स मिलेंगे इट मींस जब तक हमें वो रिजल्ट मिलेंगे दैट वुड बी इट्स शेल्फ लाइफ सो दिस वाज़ द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्टेबिलिटी एनालिसिस नेक्स्ट इज स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ ड्रग सब्सटेंस इज फर्स्ट एसेड इन और एट द टाइम ऑफ प्री फॉर्मुलेशन सो stability of drug and its come excipient or additive is studied at the time of pre formulation after that stability and compatibility with various solvent buffer solution and excipients consider for formulation development is it means in the stability phenomena we will discuss about the compatibility 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 should be there in between the formula so, compatibility of api or drug along with the its additives or another excipients which we will use into manufacturing of any doses form so the compatibility into the formula along with the solvent constituents or solvent additives we will find out the compatibility of solids and liquids solid and solids so liquid and liquids so if the formula is compatible then we will go for the manufacturing of the doses form and after that when we will find out the compatibility into the formula then we will study this five types of stability there are mainly five type of stability that must be consider for any of the drug or api hum kisi bhi api ya fir drug ke liye ye panch tarah ki stability find out karte hain so first is chemical stability so chemical it means the drug retain its chemical integrity and labeled potency if suppose we are saying that the labeled potency is this much so it should retain or possess that much labeled potency uh, in this we are talking about the drug or api so the labeled potency must be in specified limit so in this chemical stability we can uh, or in this case we can find out the chemical stability for solid doses forms and for liquid doses forms so in solid doses form we can find out the quantitative analysis of the materials so this would be chemical stability in between the components and in case of liquids we can study the components of the liquid formulation and in this again there would be some solid along with the liquids so the compatibility into the formula must be there and the chemical or the chemical integrity must be maintained during the preparation of your api after that the second type of stability is physical stability so there are various type of material solid and liquid in this solid the solid substance could be your api or drug or any other excipients in solid nature in liquid there could be solvent co solvent or vehicles etc so this was the composition for the physical stability analysis so in case of solid doses form or solid materials physical stability it will talk about the appearance how they appear if we are saying that the substance is crystalline then it must be enough crystalline in nature if we are saying it is hygroscopic in nature then uh, we understand that the uh, the substance can absorb atmosphere's moisture and it can get melt or 
some sticky type of material it could be firm so appearance then palatability palatability means how much the substance is palatable in nature or palatability ka meaning hota hai ki it should be attractive in physical or in its looks then uniformity the content must be uniform after that the finished product would be content uh, content wise uniform then size and shape in physical stability we will discuss about the size and shape of the materials that how uh, it could be pre formulation in or it could be studied during the pre formulation studies then after physical stability we will go for the third type of that is micro biological stability it means the formulation must be micro biologically stable during its shelf life it means sterility or resistance to micro biological growth is retained according to specified requirement so to achieve this goal we can add antimicrobial agent into the formulation so what is the function of antimicrobial agent the retain effectiveness into the predetermined limit or into specified limits theek hai it means agar limit ke according aapka jo microbial growth hai wo usme nahi itne time ke liye nahi hone chahiye agar hamare shelf life 3 years hai to for 3 years the antimicrobial agent must work enough to retain the growth of microbial contamination into the formulation so this was the micro biological stability after that the first one is toxicological stability analysis in toxicological stability there is no significance increase must be there in into the toxicity so into the formula or into the preparation there should not be any increase into the toxicity of your formulation so this was the stability analysis its introduction or five type of stability parameter which we generally studied into the pre formulation these are the five parameters in next video we will start with the toxicological formulation solution stability and solid state stability thank you